Do you understand the job creating impact of travel and tourism? Help all leaders recognize the social and economic benefits of the complete visitor economy. Join the PATA Annual Summit in Bangkok. PATA is all about pioneering. Carter's headquarters opening here in Bangkok, right here in this very building. The Ideal Palace, it means the city of ideas where art, technology and fashion converge. We even introduced the first digital closet to show the world another step of retail revolution. Innovation is key, and I think bold innovation is necessary. A very warm welcome to the 2013 PATA Annual Summit. The PATA Annual Summit will give you a holistic view of the complete visitor's economy. Travel and tourism contributes to 9% of the GDP. 255 million jobs depend on this important industry today. One of every 11 jobs in the world. That's a lot. And now finally, we're working together and we're working aligned to demonstrate to the world the job creation and that social benefit that the industry contributes. I'm here to send a very, very simple but strong and clear message. We're in this together. This is not about who's representing who. This is about the millions of people that we represent when we work together as one voice. First time ever, we had the UNWTO, WTTC, PATA, IATA, World Economic Forum. As you can see here, all the logos of the different organizations working together. PATA is all about pioneering. And that is why we see PATA as the one that symbolizes where the world is heading. And that's why we need to support PATA. The role of PATA is important to take part in collaboration with the government. We see that this is a really good rallying platform on which all the industries can come together as we're seeing here today. We need to align our advocacy. The stronger visitor economy means more travelers, more demands for air travel, aircraft, and industry personnel. One million new pilots and technicians, and 40% of that is going to be in Asia Pacific. A lot of people are looking at Asia because the largest potential and opportunities are right here. They are going in search of a dream, and it's our responsibility to deliver on that. Walt Disney has said that you can design and create and build the most wonderful place in the world. It takes people to make the dream come true. We have a great story to tell. We don't sell products. Google doesn't sell products. We sell experiences, which is exactly what the travel industry is about. Selling the experience, capturing an audience, and then using that to be able to recapture that audience into different experiences. So one of the barriers that we have with use of this technology it's just really getting on and using it, getting in there and doing it and having some fun with it in the process. What does embracing the complete visitor economy mean to aviation? Um, it means meeting the demand. We embrace the visitor economy, but we at Visa, we delight in the theme because it's our role and it's our pleasure to enable the visitor economy. This is a global figure, 34,000 planes, four and a half trillion dollars over the next 20 years. 35% of that is going to come from Asia Pacific. In order for us to help facilitate the growth of your industry, we need to produce these fuel-efficient aircraft, modern air traffic management and safety systems. So as we recognize the role of travel and tourism as a vehicle for job creation. Another area that we are heavily investing in is human resource development. And the Asia-Pacific growth rate in air travel exceeds the world average significantly.
Pata has been a key partner to UNWTO to push and advocate responsible, sustainable and universally accessible tourism. We have worked with Pata so well on joint advocacy. All our businesses can come together to support the visitor economy. It's not just about travel, it's not just about tourism, it's about growing economies. The vibrant economies in Asia Pacific continue to lead the world economic recovery. By 2020, more than half of the world middle class will reside in Asia. The public and private partnership is crucial. There is a direct economy when it comes to travel and there is an indirect economy. Both need to work together to create an experience. It goes back to the point we don't sell products, we actually sell experiences. The world is moving in ways and shapes that we have never imagined before. Last year we had 1 billion and 35 million international travelers crossing borders in one year, one out of seven of the people of the world. And so nearly half of the world's air traffic growth in the next 20 years will be driven by travel to, from, or within the Asia Pacific region. And therefore, Asia Pacific will need 12,000 plus new airplanes valued at $1.7 trillion over the next 20 years. How do we break through? And in each element, there are a lot of things that we need to link up so that we can enhance and strengthen our tourism uh, business. But we provide the training kind of curriculum and we can even customize programs for, for instance, you know, different um, hotels or other service providers. I must confess to you, when I came from Madrid, I was given a lecture by my statisticians and my experts there. You should not promote new terms because this confuses the people. What is this new, complete visitor's economy? We have very specific and very clear terms. Let's not deviate from them. Well, you know what? We all mean the same thing. And I don't care what they call them, what you call them. I know that Martin is doing the right thing and saying the right thing. And I had to say to my people, Sorry, I'm going there and I'm mentioning it in my speech and I'm supporting it.